KIDK Eyewitness News 3 continues. Recently, I saw teenage girls carrying lifelike dolls. These dolls would even cry and need to be fed. So I did some checking and found out it's part of their schoolwork at Hillcrest High School in Ammon. It's a story you'll only see on 3. Well, it is a trimester, and yes, those are babies crying, a lot of them. But this is a school classroom with high school students, and those babies are computers. It sounds so close to reality. Welcome to the Parenting and Child Development Program at Hillcrest High School. As they begin to learn about a lot of the decisions that need to be made in order to have a family, it kind of starts opening up their eyes. They didn't realize there were so many different things to be thinking about it. Julie Griggs is in her 35th year of teaching. She's been teaching this class for 26. And for her students, it all begins with the pregnancy suit. 25 pounds. It has certain pressure points to put pressure on certain parts of the body to duplicate that of a real pregnancy. From bladder pressure to back pain, you name it. And here is full of water. It also has a ball that's tethered to the, ball, to the bag. And what happens when the student moves, that ball moves and it simulates the movement of the baby. How does it feel? Different. Okay. Good. Looking good. Model for the camera. This is Caitlin Enid. She's a junior, and she gets to wear this to her other classes during the school day. Um, I think it's going to be hard <laughs> to go the whole day, but I should be able to do it. Then comes delivery time. Just to see them have that reality hit. Oh my goodness, this baby is mine for the next 72 hours and they're the sole provider of that baby. These babies go home with them for the weekend. Putting it on you this wrist it. is because upside down like this, mm -hmm. so it's easier to ski. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, are you ready? Okay. The babies are expensive mini computers. They record everything. It shows here how many times she changed the clothes. It also lets me see how long she had it in the car seat. Not to be left out the number of feedings and what time, even in the middle of the night. And how long it fusses or cries before the mother or father Be brave, little soldier. I will. <laughs> pays attention to it. Then it's out into the cold, cruel world, also known as a high school hallway, and beyond into the public for the weekend. And the social judgment is part of the experiment as well. I don't want to go. <laughs> you can do this. Let's do this. Spread your wings. <laughs> It is interesting. They want to make sure that they're just doing everything just right. Uh, it was a fun experience because then it makes me like really want to wait until I'm completely ready. <laughs> you need to be ready for this. <laughs> like it's a big responsibility. Uh, it's nothing to like joke about or anything, you know. It was actually pretty good and I kind of missed it when I turned it back in, but it was a lot of work and, but it was fun. When they bring the baby back, it's a whole new mindset. Sometimes they're really excited and anticipating, you know, the whole adventure. But then when they bring it back, some kids are devastated of returning their baby because they've gotten so close. They've, they've actually formed a bond with this baby that they realize that they're not ready to have that baby. It makes them realize that, yes, I would like to have children, but not until much later. That they have an appreciation for their own families, their parents, their mothers their fathers. I mean, it's, it's really cool. The line of communication that opens up when the students have this experience is huge, not only with the students and myself, but also with their families and even their friends here at school. The parents I talked to seem to agree. I love this program. I have four kids. I think that kids don't have any idea what they're getting into when they bring a baby home. As a fun side note, I suggested a random drawing for twins. Mrs. Griggs had eight of her 51 students this trimester willing to give it a try. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Kylie Anderson, meet Mia and Lily for the weekend. Come Monday morning. I'm going home and taking a big, huge nap. <laughs> I am tired. I think it's a better class to take and have preparation of when you have actual children. And uh, I have to say the single one was so much easier than twins. <laughs> you are a free woman. To be fair, Mrs. Griggs tells me a few parents are not in favor of the program. One told her it brings up the conversation before the parent is ready to talk about it. And another feared it promotes teen pregnancy. And Mrs. Griggs has about 150 students take the class each year, and yes, boys too. 
The Parenting and Child Development Program is district-wide, so it is available at Bonneville High School as well. I also did some checking with the Idaho Falls School District, and they have the program in District 91, too.